know from a wealth of research that students learn, improve and achieve more when they are engaged, challenged and supported to learn new things. We know that learners do better when they know where they are going and why their learning matters. We want every student to experience a sense of achievement, progress and growth in their learning. But children are very different. They have different strengths, interests and learning needs. They learn and progress at different rates. Students of the same age can be at very different stages of development. When we use a child's age rather than their current level of achievement to determine what they should learn, some students can be given tasks that are too easy or too hard. Our experiences influence how we feel about ourselves as learners and our motivation to learn. Learners with a fixed mindset think that ability dictates what you learn to do and so often avoid difficult tasks they cannot master quickly. Learners with a growth mindset enjoy challenge, learn from their mistakes and believe they can learn and master new skills if they work hard and stick at it. Research tells us that students who learn that they can make mistakes and recover from setbacks, communicate, collaborate and get on with others, regulate their own behaviour through good decision making and put the effort in required to achieve goals, are more successful in school, in the workplace and in their everyday life. This is why general capabilities such as literacy, numeracy, information and communication technology, creative and critical thinking, personal and social capability, intercultural and ethical understanding are included in the curriculum and an important part of your child's learning. We want every student to build solid foundations in literacy and numeracy because these capabilities are needed for success in school, work and everyday life. We also want them to make responsible decisions that lead to happy, healthy and active lives. So our children will also need to develop their physical literacy skills. The curriculum should include a broad range of subject areas so students develop the knowledge, understandings and skills needed to pursue their interests, goals and contribute to society in positive and productive ways. How could we measure and report your child's learning progress in subject areas such as English and in general capabilities such as literacy and numeracy? When children are little, we often measure their growth using a tape measure to record their height as they grow. We can tell they have grown because we have a measure of where they were 12 months ago and a measure of where they are now. We don't expect every child to be the same height because we know that children grow at different times and at different rates. But we do expect that our child would grow over time and we would be concerned if they showed no growth. To understand and communicate where students are in their learning progress, we need a map of the relevant learning domain with clear milestones so we know our child is moving forward in their learning. A learning progression shows a clear developmental pathway in a particular domain of learning. Using learning progressions assists students, teachers and parents to understand where students are now, where we expect them to be next and how we can get them to the next stage of learning that is appropriate for the learner. What if we define successful learning in terms of the progress that individuals make in any area of learning, regardless of their starting points. Assessment and reporting would go beyond merely judging student achievement to better understanding the progress each student has made in their learning. When students have a clear sense of direction and understand the next step in learning, parents, teachers and peers can work together to support them in achieving their goals. Reporting progress would become an opportunity for meaningful conversations between students, teachers and parents about their learning and their development.